funny story with you uh, about the teddy bear biscuit episode. And I got so much feedback from so many other women sharing their personal stories with me. And I did promise that there was another piece to that puzzle and really the start of that story that I wanted to share with you today. Now, I've never really spoken about this and it's, it's quite funny when you talk about your life and you just take things for granted of what you've gone through and what you've particularly done. And you don't think it's anything important to anyone else really, but here it is, I've been told so many times, you need to tell that story, Trace. So, prolific career girl, yeah? I mean, I was it, seven days, 24 hours, you know, it was just what I lived, breathed, and, and, and it was me. And, you know, after I had the kids, it still is me, I can't switch it off. But back then, I didn't have any kids, and I was pregnant to my first child. And as I told you, I didn't take it quite seriously. I thought, you know, I'm just pregnant. There's nothing wrong with me. I should be able to do 12 hour days. I should be able to do exactly what I'm doing before I got pregnant, right? Because what am I? I'm superwoman. I'm super strong. I can do anything. And yes, I can. But there is something going on in your body. You are growing a person. And it's so important to give it the respect and the attention that it needs which is something I'd love to share with other women. I didn't know that at the time. And therefore, I ended up with preeclampsia, but I didn't actually know I had preeclampsia. So let me fast forward to you. I'm 35 weeks pregnant, and that morning I wake up with a few pains. Anyway, I get on with my day and I go to my doctor, my, um, my GP who was delivering the baby, and, um, and we, we had a, a, a consultation and he said, look, things aren't looking quite right. I'm going to send you for a scan and, um, and a blood test this afternoon. So I went on my merry way, grabbed the bits of paper and said, I've got to go. You know, I've got a 10 o'clock appointment and, and as I do. And I went on my merry way back to the office, getting on with my work, knowing that I had, I think it was around two o'clock that afternoon that I had to go and get these tests done. I had lunch, I had a business lunch meeting with a business development manager from IWF, by the way. Um, he was great, great support to me at the time. So there was my husband who's in business with me, my husband, the other partner in financial planning, myself, and a BDM from Melbourne. We're having lunch, and I had a big bowl of pasta as you do, and, um, and everything was great. And all of a sudden, I got this incredible pain. And I thought, wow, I wonder what's going on here. Needless to say, my greatest fear had come to fruition. In the middle of this restaurant, as I got up to go to the toilet, my waters broke. Yes, my waters broke in the middle of a business meeting, in the middle of a restaurant. So at this point, I started racing to the toilet. I got to the toilet and thought, oh my God. And you know what my first instinct was? Well, that's buggered up the afternoon, hasn't it? Now what am I gonna do? And it was almost like, Oh, wow, how inconvenient. I had all of these things to do in the afternoon and now, you know, what's going to happen? I, I just hadn't planned for it. But here's the thing. As a career girl, you're in control of everything. And for the first time in my life, I was in control of nothing. And I'm not sure I was really comfortable with that at all at that point. So there it is. In the middle of a business meeting, my waters break and I end up in hospital. And 24 hours later, I think it was about 36 hours later, I had my beautiful baby girl, April. And I remember thinking, what am I gonna teach her to make sure that she doesn't inherit my financial blueprint? My financial blueprint, as you know, was to live from paycheck to paycheck, was to live off credit cards. Um, there was no savings involved. It didn't, it didn't help me achieve any of the goals or it didn't align with any of the values that I had as a person. And I knew from that day on that I had to make sure I instilled the right money stories into my daughter's life, into her head, that she heard, that she saw, that I was a good role model and that I had actually changed and I have changed. Um, I still have to monitor myself, but at least I'm totally aware of the fact of where I've come from, where I need to be and where I need to continuously be and raise my kids with the right money stories, with the right money mindset. So share with me, if you've got any of those horror stories, there it is, out in the open. Yes, that's what happened to me in the middle of a business meeting. I'm Tracy Sopra, I work with career-minded professional women. Have a great night, have a great weekend.